Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce how to quickly start 6900 series decoder. Hack Vision Decoder is used for the high definition video monitoring system and capable of high performance simultaneous decoding. It can decode almost 128 channels of 1080p video streams, makes 16 screens can be managed, and supports 4K output by HDMI interface. Here's a dynamic demo of decoder basic functions. It supports PC input projection, window opening, roaming, which means you can drag the window among screens, enlarge or shrink the image, make window division, and configure alarm pop-up. This is rear panel of the decoder. HDMI is for connection from decoder to screen, which we call decoder output. And VGA and DVI are decoder input interfaces. You can connect video signal source. DB15 interfaces on the left are designed for video and audio output by BNC interfaces. Accessories of DB15 to BNC are included in product package. This is comparison chart of different decoder models. More output interfaces on decoder mean higher decoding capacity. The sample we demonstrated here is 6908 UDI, 8 HDMI outputs. It is recommended to connect only GE1 interface directly to network switch, a 1000 megabit per second port. Connect corresponding HDMI interfaces from decoder to monitors. Make record of the connecting relationship for later configuration. Connect video cable from computer output to decoder input if you want to project PC image to video wall. Power on decoder. New device needs to be activated first. Go to SADP, select new decoder, enter password, and click activate. Network parameters can be configured after activation. Enter IP, subnet mask, and default gateway. Input password and click modify. Or just enable DHCP to get IP address automatically. To quickly configure the decoder, IVM S4200 video wall is suggested. Select the device management. Add the devices including decoder, front-end, and back-end by inputting the nickname, IP, username, and password. Or choosing the device on the list, online device, and typing other information. Create a new video wall. Select the video wall. Click More Setting next to the default video wall. Click Modify Video Wall button. Input the number of video wall's row and column. And the video wall layout is created. After that, check the output port from the decoding output list to the corresponding display screen. The output parameters such as resolution can be set in Modify Output Interface. Next, go to the video wall interface. Check the input signal from the camera list to the video wall. The camera will be decoded on the corresponding display unit. Also, you can make window division by clicking the window division button. The stream of cameras can be switched between mainstream and substream in modify camera interface. Please note that after switching the stream, the window has to be closed and opened again to take effect. You can also check local signal source to video wall to display PC image. You can click start playback button to start camera playback. 
Click Progress Bar to select the record time. And select Record Date using Calendar next to Live View. PTZ Control Interface is on the bottom of the output list, and it can be used to control PTZ cameras. Double click a window to make it full screen, and double click again to restore. Right click the window, and you will see a function list, such as Start or Stop Decoding, and choose to Live View Camera on 4200 Client. The decoding status can be seen in the decoding status interface. Thank you for watching.